in the given figure y is equal to 108 degree and x is equal to 71 degree are the lines m and n parallel justify so here x and y are in between the two parallel lines so we can add x plus y that is 71 degree plus 108 degree so it comes to 179 degree that means x plus y is not equal to 180 degree therefore the angles x and y are not supplementary therefore the angles do not satisfy the interior angles test for parallel lines. Hence, line M and line N are not parallel lines. In the given figure, if angle A is congruent to angle B and angle X is congruent to angle Y, then prove that the line L parallel line N. So we are given that angle A congruent to angle B and angle X congruent to angle Y to prove line L parallel to line N. So we will begin our proof. We have angle A equal to angle B given. But angle A and angle B are corresponding angles on lines L and line M when line K is the transversal. Therefore, we can say that line L parallel line M and the reason will be corresponding angles test. Number it as 1. Then angle X is also given congruent to angle Y. But angle X and angle Y are alternate angles on lines M and N when segment PQ is the transversal. Therefore, line M will be parallel to line N that is number 2 and the reason is alternate angles test. Therefore, from 1 and 2 we have L parallel to M and M parallel to N. That means all the three lines line L parallel line M parallel line N. That is we can say that line L parallel line N. A transversal EF of line AB and line CD intersect the lines at points P and Q respectively. Ray PR and Ray QS are parallel and bisectors of angle BPQ and angle PQC respectively. Prove that line AB parallel line CD. So we are given Ray PR parallel Ray QS. Then Ray PR and Ray QS are the bisectors of angle BPQ and angle PQC respectively and to prove that line AB parallel line CD. So in the proof we have Ray PR parallel Ray QS and segment PQ is their transversal. So angle RPQ will be equal to angle SQP. These are alternate angles. So number it as 1. Then angle RPQ is equal to half of angle BPQ because the PR bisects angle BPQ. Also angle SQP will be equal to half angle PQC because the QS bisects angle PQC. Number both these together as 2. So from 1 and 2 we have half angle BPQ will be equal to half angle PQC. We can cancel the two halves from both the sides. So hence we have angle BPQ is equal to angle PQC. But angle BPQ and angle PQC are alternate angles on lines AB and CD when line EF is the transversal. Therefore we can say line AB parallel line CD and the reason will be alternate angles test.